Yes, congratulations on completing a very important step in your career. My name is Akila Douglas and I'm a brand educator for Wella, Nioxin, Sebastian, and GHD. I was also named the 2020 Beauty and Vision Awards Natural Texture Artist of the Year. And I am currently a finalist in the creative category for the Beauty and Vision Awards this year and get to compete live in just a few weeks in Las Vegas. But at some point, I was right where you were, a recent graduate of cosmetology school. So what's next? What's next for you? I would love to just leave you with a little bit of advice on how to kind of maneuver your career to get to exactly where you wanna be. So I guess the first step is decide where do you wanna be? Do you wanna be a salon owner? Do you wanna be an educator? Do you wanna be a platform artist? Do you wanna be in sales? Like there's so many opportunities that are out there within this industry. It's not just about being behind the chair. So what I did is right before I graduated, I researched and sought out a stylist and salon owner who had the career that I wanted. At the time, she owned a beautiful boutique salon downtown. She was a top artist for Sebastian, traveling all over the world doing hair. And I said, that's what I want to do. I want to be like that. So I bugged her and bugged her and bugged her until she hired me. She even didn't even have a position open for me, but she still gave me that opportunity because she saw my passion and drive for uh, this industry and wanting to be great at it. And 10 years later, we still have an amazing career, still look up to her fantastic she's just the best hairstylist i've ever seen so that my first advice would be find a mentor find someone that is doing what you want to do and learn from them be open be flexible and just soak it all in the second thing I would advise you to do is to diversify. Um, as you can see, I do not have long blonde hair, but 80% of my clientele is long blonde hair, right? I wanted to make sure that I equipped myself with the knowledge and tools to be able to take care of anybody that walked in the door, despite their hair texture, despite what they wanted to do, I know that I'd be able to live, deliver excellent service to them. So that's my advice to you is to be open and diversify um, and learn how to work with all different types of hair and techniques as well. And last but not least, uh, understand the power of yes. Um, a lot of the opportunities I've been given, um, especially recently, have just been me saying yes, yes, I can do that. Is it always comfortable? No, sometimes I'm exhausted. Sometimes it doesn't pay, but it doesn't matter opening those doors and creating those relationships and being flexible and again, open and just doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, still taking in information from other people, constantly learning and saying yes to these opportunities are going to continue to open more and more doors for you to propel your career to the next level. One of the things I love most about this industry is like I said, there are so many different things that you can do. And I've, I've evolved so much from a stylist behind the chair to a a salon owner in San Francisco, an educator, and I have some really cool things coming next year too. So um, just being open and saying yes, because you never know where you can blossom and where you can end up at. But I just want you to know that you are embarking on a great journey. Um, it is a fun ride. I tell people all the time, I don't work. I just have fun all day. And so I can't wait to see the beautiful things that you create, whether it be behind the chair, behind the camera, working for a brand, whatever you decide to do, um, just say yes. And I know you're gonna do great work. So again, congratulations on all that you've accomplished so far. And I can't wait to see what you do next.